Here at any We Talk Atoll, the Air Force is given another top drawer assignment. Participation in the detonation of three new and untested atomic bombs. Here in the remote South Pacific, this extensive, highly secret project will be known as Operation Sandstone. With the completion of the initial construction phase, the air fleet converges in force at the test area. Vital scientists and couriers, special observers and key military personnel were all regular passengers of these aircraft. With the arrival of the drone units, the air echelon is complete. Flown to the site in a normal manner, these four engine aircraft, weighing over 30 tons, will operate on their missions around and through the deadly atomic cloud without a single man aboard them. Colonel Cody, briefing radiological. Aboard each aircraft in this operation will be a qualified radiological defense officer. He will be equipped with instruments capable of detecting and measuring radiation. His primary duty is to act as a technical crew member advising the aircraft commander on matters of radiological defense and secondarily in obtaining scientific data and the evaluation of this data for use in future Air Force operations. Time of detonation, a brilliant flash will occur. This flash has been estimated by some to be from 10 to 30 times the brilliance of the sun. The burst will be instantaneous, and the brilliance does not persist. Following the burst, a fireball will appear, and a cloud arrives. It will then move and dissipate in accordance with the winds at the various levels existent at that time. An unmanned drone plane takes off. As the drone is airborne, a mother plane sweeps in low and takes over flight control. A master mother is always available to assume operation of the drone in the event of any malfunction in the control plane. of these drone aircraft will be to obtain samples from the heart of the deadly radioactive cloud arising after the detonation. Years of research in the remote control of unmanned aircraft are represented in the successful electronic operation of this great four-engine airplane. The pilot of the drone rides in the nose of the control plane. By means of a television system, he checks the drone instrument panel and maintains control through the highly complex electronic impulse circuit. flying laboratory. These landings require the most precise and careful coordination to prevent damage to the delicate instruments, the aircraft itself, and to ground personnel. Following normal landing, the plane is braked to a smooth stop and sample recovery crews assume control. In practice, the same precautions are used as will be exercised after radiological contamination. Engines are cut by means of an external switch, and the plane towed from the runway to make room for other landings.
tests are made on the effectiveness of a new emergency arresting system. The plane comes in at approximately 100 miles per hour, touches down, and rolls freely without the application of brakes to the far end of the runway. specially woven elastic nylon rope. On inner Weetok, close to Zero Island, the drone planes are prepared for pilotless takeoff. Here, the tension is really high, for this will be the first mission of unmanned drone aircraft on a nighttime operation. The complexities of drone control are greatly multiplied at night, for no accurate visual check can be made on the drone's performance. atomic cloud. Blasted Enjubi Island, far below, is revealed to the drone as it emerges from the atomic cloud. Cloud trackers are already on their station around the cloud, plotting its course and size, making observations of contaminated air standing by to warn ground stations should the radioactive mass change its course to pass over occupied zones. The RADSAFE monitor keeps the aircraft at a safe distance. As the cloud lifts, the survey plane sweeps low over the radioactive crater. Monitors take accurate radiological readings of the most contaminated of the blasted areas. Their mission of cloud penetration complete, the drones are returned to any we talk. Air control is relinquished to the ground crew. Landing is effected by an electronic system similar to that used in the control plane. This is the crucial moment in the drone operation, and all hands sweat in these unmanned B-17s with their cargo of priceless scientific samples. Because of radioactivity gathered within the cloud, the drones are dangerous and mechanical devices are used whenever possible to prevent the exposure of personnel. As a safety precaution, personnel are exposed to radioactivity for only a minimum period of time. Filter papers containing the samples are removed from the trap. After packing in lead containers, they're prepared for air shipment to laboratories within the United States. After removal of the samples, the drones are decontaminated with a special cleansing solution. Even as the last courier plane departs, marking the end of X-Day phase of Operation Sandstone, preparations are underway for the second blast on the forthcoming Y-Day. With the initial preparation for Y-Day completed and favorable weather predicted, the tempo of last-minute activity is accelerated. Once again, these crews will face an unknown quantity, 
For the bomb to be tested on Y day is of a different and even more powerful type than that used on X day. I could go on and tell you about this, but I'd rather have you see the actual setup. This is a sound test just before Zebra Day. This is about 1800 minus Zebra Day. The camera is set up on Perry Island Tower. The sound test will be shot tomorrow morning. This is exactly the same position the camera will be in. This will give you an idea of the position the tower was in before the blast. The sound will be about 22 seconds after the blast is shown on the screen. This is what happened on Zebra Day. Hello, fraternity. This is Baggy Dan. Stand by for final time signals. Stand by for final time signals. At the sound of the gong, it will be minus 30 seconds. Minus 30 seconds. At the sound of the gong, it will be minus 20 seconds. Minus 20 seconds. At the sound of the gong, it will be minus 